The reason was little Jack Straw, the member of the Church of England Synod, no less. A good Christian man who so fell in love with Colin Powell and Condoleezza Rice. As a matter of fact, Jack's wife began to get suspicious about Jack's love for Condoleezza Rice, not knowing that, well, <clears throat> Condoleezza wasn't exactly in the same market as Jack Straw, at least one presumes not, but how can one tell nowadays? So besotted was our Foreign Secretary, Jack Straw, that he began to mimic exactly these theatrical devices. He used to hold up vials too. He wore for the first time, hopefully the last in recorded British history, a badge in Parliament everywhere that he went with the British and American flags conjoined. He made exactly the same false claims as did Tony Blair, though Jack did it more theatrically more often, that Iraq was in possession of a mountain of nuclear, biological, and chemical weapons capability, and it was all a lie. Now, nobody thinks much about Jack anymore. Colin is no longer with us, I presume burning in the seventh circle of hell, which is the destination of all warmongering liars. But Jack is still around, though he never got his seat in the House of Lords because Channel 4 television, with a camera up their jumper, captured them in a fake Chinese takeaway scam in which they literally recruited him on camera to sell himself like a common prostitute to any Chinese company, although it was Channel 4 television that were the Chinese company.